have a home in case you didn't know that. I like to talk about my home in case you didn't know that. And so I thought I would do a home haul. I know, crazy what's happening to us. We're doing hauls on this channel now. I can't help it. I bought lots of stuff. You guys say that you're, you want to know more. If you're nosy like me, then you definitely want to know more. So I thought, thought I'd do this, this thing. Also, dungarees broke today, didn't they? So, had to get an elastic band to keep it together. Not good. Just spent all my money on the house stuff. Can't buy another pair of dungarees. Sort yourself out, dungarees. Sort yourself out. I've bought this beautiful KitchenAid kettle and I love it so much. I wanted to buy a kettle that you put like on the stove because I like the way they look, but Ryan said it was impractical and it takes too long to heat it up, which I kind of agree with him and I get it, but at the time I really wanted one. So I found one that looks like one that you put on the stove, except it's electric. The problem with having a kettle that looks like it's meant to be on the stove is that sometimes well, not sometimes, just my dad, um, thinks that it is meant to go on the stove and this happens, yeah. Basically sets the kettle on fire and ruins it. So this is the uh, second one. It's the first thing I bought for the house and it was the first thing that got broken on the first day of moving in. Note to self, or note to you, if you're gonna buy something that looks like it's meant to go on the stove, make sure you tell everyone that it's not to go on the stove. So when we moved in, my Auntie Alex uh, made a little card of our new house and the date when we moved in. So I decided to frame it because I really like it. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it in this frame or not. I want to have behind this camera, so the opposite wall, I want to have like loads of pictures frames with like paintings and art and photos in it and stuff behind the sofa. Sofa we haven't got yet. Oh, I hate waiting for the sofa, it's taken like six weeks now. Anyway, so yeah, so I framed this because I thought it was really nice and uh, it has like the date and it's just a nice memory. So it's not necessarily something I bought for it, but it's something that I really like. On to other things to put on the wall that we bought. We bought this bit of art behind us. We saw the artist ages ago called Dan Hillier. He basically made like an album cover for a band that we really like and we didn't realise that until we saw this artist in Brighton and we thought, God, it's so expensive, I don't know if we can afford it. Waited a month, I loved it so much, so we decided that we'd get it because we're going to have it forever, basically, and I'm really happy we got it. I'll show you a picture of it here because, I don't know, I think it's a really beautiful piece of art. Some people aren't too keen on having like naked bodies on their wall and thing, but me and Ryan love the woman form naked, so hey-ho. I mean, there's boobs on our wall. And I like it. I'm sure someone will comment something at some point, but oh well. I had to get copper pans. Got these from Debenhams. I'm sure there's a reason why people have copper pans. Probably because they're like good for cooking with, or something about the heat, or something like that. But I'm going to be honest, I got them because I like them. I thought they'd look pretty, and they do look pretty. They're by Jasper Conran, and uh, occasionally there's a sale on them. There still is now, so... Yeah, it's worth a look if you want them. They are very expensive. I saw some in Sainsbury's, they do them in Sainsbury's as well, and they're about the same price, so I don't know if you can really get them cheaper. But yeah, I like them. <laughs> so I bought a few bowls from, oh gosh, Habitat. We really like these bowls, they're kind of like, I haven't really explained what any of this stuff's like. These are the only bowls that we own, and they're probably not big enough really to put pasta in, but we use them for that anyway. If anyone came over, I'd probably have to buy other bowls for them, but I thought they were really nice, and if you're putting, like, fruit in there, cherries, peanuts... I'm trying to be that blogger that, like, gives examples of why she'd use them, but if I'm honest, I bought them because I like them, I don't know when I'm going to use them yet. Tried to put pasta in it, kind of overfill it, so... But I like them, and that's all that matters, right? So my auntie got me these plates, which I love, and they go with... My mugs! Look, it's the same kind of green, so that's nice because I wanted to have like, you know, a green kind of theme with like grey, grey stuff. We have a Smeg fridge and it's kind of this colour here, so these go really nicely. The idea is that I'm going to have like open shelves in the kitchen so you'll be able to see all the plates and stuff, so hopefully it will look really lovely together. But yeah, Auntie Alex got us these from uh, Anthropology, and I love them so much that I don't know if you can see them. They're just so nice. Like, look at that effect there. Yeah. 
this haul is just me saying I love things. I'm probably gonna watch this and really annoy myself and be like, gosh, doing hauls for YouTube's harder than I thought it'd be. Um, but at least I'm trying, hey? At least I'm trying. I like to be nosy and see what people buy for their home, so I'm hoping you're enjoying this too. Okay, apologies if you noticed this has changed. My uncle quickly just sent me a text message saying that someone was gonna come over and plaster the behind us. Really lovely um, of him. But I had stuff surrounding me that I was like picking up for the hall and then putting down. So if someone leant through the window and came in, they would think that I'm going insane. So I had to quickly tidy that up. Um, back to the last item. I mean, we bought plenty of items for the house. Back to the last one that I'm going to talk to you for the hall is my record player and my records, which aren't out here right now. Okay. So Amelia and me both had a record player that we shared at home, I'm sure you know that. But I couldn't take that because it was both of ours and instead I bought a new record player for me and Ryan which is a Sony one and I'm so happy with it. And it wasn't until that I set up the record player that I realised that I don't really have that many records that are mine. <laughs> Amelia and me always bought things together and we never really thought if one of us moved out who would have the stuff and who would keep it. So me and Ryan decided to go crazy and buy a few records and two of my favourites are Florence and the Machine. Ryan got one for his birthday and then we bought the other album. She's just... I've got... I've made a list actually this... well last year of who I want to see in. On it was the XX, Haim and Florence. So Florence is the last person to see live. Hopefully she goes on tour at some point in my life because I need to see this human. And the second one that we bought was Elbow. I'd never even listened to Elbow. Elbow? Elbow? I'd never even listened to Elbow before um, Ryan like introduced me to them. I mean, I'd listened to some of their songs, but not the whole album. It's just, he's just got an amazing voice. Just got an amazing voice he has. So I've actually bought way more things than I've spoken about right now, obviously. And I do want to do an individual room tour. So like different rooms once they're done up and show you before and afters, because we're doing a lot of work on the house as you can see behind us. Um, the house has already changed a crazy amount. You would know that if you've seen our Man of Weekly. So if you would like to see me do that, a before and after of different rooms and talk about the stuff that I've got and the stuff that I've done to the rooms and all that jazz, then comment down below. I hope you're enjoying like the home style videos. I'm just really excited and um, just feel like I should talk about them, about the stuff really. I could talk about my home for ages. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we will see you on Monday.